almost time to replace my roof, but I really have no idea how much it's going to cost. Today I'm sitting down with George, CEO of Pelican Roofing. So George, what's an average roof cost these days? Well, so, you know, that's a tough question. There's a lot of variables uh, that go into that, the size of the roof, the complexity of the roof, meaning like how many slopes are on the roof. Um, you can have the same size house door next door to each other, same square footage, but one of them is a lot more cut up, a lot more slopes, that's more expensive. Uh, the steepness of the roof plays a big factor in the cost, but I can tell you that our average roof within our company right now is, is a little over $15,000. Um, interestingly, uh, a year ago, that number was under 12,500. And so we've seen sharp increases just in one year. Uh, a lot of that has to do with material prices uh, increasing directly from the manufacturers. And then there was also some labor increases that occurred after the recent hurricanes, Laura and Delta, as the uh, demand for roofing rose very sharply and the supply of roofers couldn't quite meet it. That price uh, started to, to hike up pretty considerably. Okay, so do you think these prices will go down once um, most of that hurricane work is complete? Um, will the materials go down or is it, do you think it's going to stay like it is? You know, if, if you look at what's happened historically in these types of events, um, they, they typically don't go down. I don't expect them to go down. There's a little speculation involved there, but you know, we can look back around uh, Hurricane Katrina in 2005. There were also some large increases. I think it was 2008 or nine. And those have, those stuck for the most part. So I really don't expect material prices to go down at all. In fact, we got a letter last week from all of the major shingle manufacturers stating that we're going to have another price increase, probably around 6% or so. Um, we're expecting another one on top of that before the end of 2021. I do think labor prices will even out a little bit, but not a whole lot. And any of those savings will be offset by the material price increases that are occurring on shingles. And it's not just happening on shingles, it's happening with metal, uh, aluminum. And so, you know, our gutters, we are, are made out of aluminum. Um, our flashing on roofs is made from steel. All of this stuff is rising sharply as well. So it, prices will only continue to, to increase. Hopefully they will stabilize before too long though. Is there a way for homeowners to um estimate about how much it will cost to replace their roof without having someone come out and inspect it? I'll, I'll give you a rule of thumb that I've used in the past, but it's it's going to get you maybe within 20 or 30 percent. Um, so you can take the, the living square footage of the house, say you've got 2000 square feet that's heated and cooled, not including garages, patios, etc. And uh, double that number. So if it's 2000, now you're at 4000 and then you're gonna multiply that times 3.5, and that can give you a rough cost. Now, when you do that calculation, say it gives you $15,000, um, that actual roof may cost 18, or it may cost 12. It's, it's not gonna get you there, but if someone wants just a real general idea and they don't know if their roof is 7,000 or 20,000, I guess I guess it's helpful to that extent. Um, but the, you know, the architecture of roof varies so much that it's, it's a difficult thing to ballpark. Okay. You did mention hurricanes. I know that a lot of roofs are getting paid by insurance um, versus homeowners coming out of pocket. What is that, what is that ratio of um, roofs being covered by insurance versus a homeowner paying out of pocket for a full roof replacement? So that's going to vary by market. Uh, also, you know, like the region um, that, that someone is in, if, if you're in Dallas or um, even Shreveport, um, but Dallas or Tulsa or Denver, these are markets that get a, a strong hailstorm, a, a healthy hailstorm pretty much every year. Almost all of those roofs get replaced about every five years or so from uh, insurance, uh, from storm damage and insurance covers it. Here in our market, I can tell you internally, our ratios 
somewhere in the 60 to 70 percent range is insurance based and that's not just after the hurricanes but even prior to those storms because we have these hail storms that pop up many homeowners aren't really that aware of them they're not major events but they do cause damage we have spring storms that roll in spring and summer storms that bring a lot of wind maybe 50 60 mile per hour gusts that blow off some shingles and so um, a lot of our work is comprised of those uh, storm related jobs. And so most of our customers are actually just paying an insurance deductible. They're not forking out the whole amount for their roof, but a small portion of those do have to, there's no damage and it's time to replace the roof. Maybe they're closing on a real estate transaction and they need to replace it. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's say I call you guys out. I think I might have damage, might be hoping I have damage so that I can get it paid by the insurance. Um, there's not enough to file a claim. Do you guys offer financing? We do. Um, so we partner up with a few different third party companies and um, some of our customers will finance the whole roof job. Some of our customers will just finance uh, the deductible, especially after large storms and those deductibles may be six, 7,000 or so. They may just finance that amount and then that way they can get into their roof with no money out of pocket um, and not have to wait and deal with leaks and tarps staying on a roof for a couple years while they save up. So there's a lot of options there, sure. Okay, great. So I think the good news for homeowners is that they could have damage they don't know about and they could get their roof covered by their insurance. Um, and if not, there's financing available. So there are options out there for homeowners. That's right. If you have any other roofing related questions, check out our YouTube channel.